Hi guys, so today we're going to learn about a new word in grammar. Um, it's called adverb. You try saying that. Adverb. So our goal today, at the bottom of our screen, it says, I can define, that means tell what something means, recognize, and give examples of adverbs. So that's our goal after this video. So let's jump in. What is an adverb? If you listen really carefully to that word, adverb, you'll notice that it sounds a lot like one of the words we've already learned in grammar, a verb. And there's a very good reason why, because adverbs describe verbs. So adverbs are describing or juicy words. They describe our verbs. Remember, a verb is an action word, something you can do. So our adverbs, they describe our action words. I have a sentence here. I talk blank. We're going to see what kinds of words might make sense in this sentence. I notice the word talk is my verb. I know it's a verb because it's an action word. It's something I can do. I can talk. So now I want to think of a word that will describe my talking. So I might talk really, how am I talking right now? Softly. Softly is an adverb. It's telling me, um, describing my talking. Softly. The opposite of softly, instead of talking softly, I could talk really loudly. So loudly is another word that describes my talking. It's telling me or telling us how I'm talking. This time it's loudly. Can you think of some other ways I might talk? Maybe I talk fast. Maybe I talk slow. Maybe I talk now. That's describing my talking. Let's get into our next page because the next page is going to tell us about different kinds of adverbs because there are more than one kind. So let's go to the next page. Here's a little bit more about adverbs. Adverbs answer three questions. They tell us how, when, and where. So thinking again about the last page, remember adverbs describe our verbs, our action words. <clears throat> they can describe them in three different ways and I'm gonna color code them here. Um, and you'll understand why in a minute. So adverbs can tell us how we are doing something. When an adverb is a how adverb, it usually ends in L-Y, the Lee sound. So our words on the last page, softly, slowly, um, loudly, those were all how adverbs. They were telling me how I was talking. But there are other adverbs that tell us when you're doing your verbs. So they might tell us when you were talking, when you were running, when you were jumping, when you were sleeping. And then the last kind of adverb is where. Where um, adverbs tell us where you're doing your verb or your action word. So I color coded them because I want us to think of three examples now at the bottom to fit into this sentence. The dog ran blank. And we're gonna think of one for each of these different kinds of adverbs. So the first kind of adverb again is how. So we want to describe how the dog is doing its action. Our verb, if you notice, is ran. That's what the dog is doing. That's his action word. So our first kind of adverb, how, we want to think of a word that tells us how is the dog running. Well, then maybe the dog, if we look at him, looks like he might be running fast. So fast is an adverb that tells us how 
the dog is doing something. If you'll remember, I said that a lot of adverbs can end in lee if they're a how adverb. Fast is one of the few that does not. But other words like quickly or slowly, quietly, loudly, those are all different adverbs that tell us how our noun is um, completing their verb, what the, how they're doing their verb. So in this case, how the dog is running. So the dog ran fast, the dog ran quickly. Those are two different how adverbs. Okay, next, I'm gonna to switch to the blue now. Our second kind of adverb is when. So we're thinking about when did the dog run? So we might say the dog ran today. Today is an adverb that tells us when we are doing something. In this case, when the dog is running. When is the dog running? He's running today. Other when adverbs might be now. When did the dog run? Now. Or early, later, then, next. Those are all different when adverbs. They tell us when we are doing um, something. In this case, when the dog is running. And now I'll switch back to my black because our last kind of adverb is where adverbs. So these are adverbs that tell us where the dog might be running. Now this is tricky because I always tell my friends the where adverbs cannot be a noun. They can't be a place like a noun because nouns are not adverbs. They're different kinds of words in grammar. So the where has to is a little tricky because I can't say, for example, if I think um, that the dog, that I think about house, maybe the do, uh, that's, a, um, that's where the dog ran. If I put it in my sentence, the dog ran house, it doesn't make sense. And that's because house is a noun. So I have to think where the dog might be running, but it still needs to fit into my sentence. The dog ran blank. So I might say, the dog ran here. Here is an adverb that can tell us where the dog is running and it makes sense in our sentence. Or the opposite of here, the dog ran there. Other um, where adverbs might be up. The dog ran up, sounds kind of silly, but it does still work. Down, the dog ran down. Also could be upstairs or downstairs. It could be the dog ran around, between, over, under. Those are all adverbs that tell us where the dog might be running. Okay, so hopefully this video helped give you a little bit of an idea of an intro at least to adverbs. We're gonna be learning about them for a while, so you don't need to worry if you don't quite understand it yet. Adverbs are a little tricky. So just to review, adverbs describe verbs. That was on our last page. That's why they're called adverbs, because they describe verbs. And the three questions that they answer are how, when, and where. I always think it's a good idea to think about this sentence when you're trying to figure out if a word is an adverb. You can say the verb, the, ad, the word that you think is an adverb to yourself in the blank. The dog ran blank. So if I think a word might be an adverb, I can try it out in this sentence to see if it works. So for example, if I think the word over is an adverb, I can try it in the sentence. The dog ran over. That does work. But if I thought doghouse was an adverb, if I tried in the sentence, the dog ran doghouse, it doesn't make sense. So that would tell me it's not an adverb. So adverbs describe verbs and they tell us how, when, and where. The next thing that you're gonna do is, um, if we were in class, we would make a big 
anchor chart or big piece of paper where we listed different examples of adverbs and post it somewhere in our classroom for us to see whenever we needed to, to remind ourselves what an adverb is and what different examples are. Because we're not in a classroom together in person, instead I have made a virtual um, anchor chart for you or your teacher has and you're going to be able to use the link to go to this chart and type in one adverb that you can think of. If you're one of the first people there to use the link and get to the anchor chart, you're gonna have a lot of choices because my goal is, is that each person from our class types in a different adverb. So if I really wanna write the adverb fast, for example, but I get to the anchor chart and it's already there, I'm gonna have to think of a different word. And I'm gonna put the word fast on our anchor chart as an example. But remember, you can use this sentence to figure out if the word you're thinking is an adverb. The dog ran blank. All right, good luck, go add a word to our anchor chart. Have a great day, bye guys.